episode of Zero Style is brought to you by Insomnia. Welcome to Zero Style. I am your host, Zero, the cyberspace hero. I can't sleep, so I've been thinking for a while about making a video about editing photos, and here I am, editing photos, and I thought, why don't I teach you how I edit my photos in Adobe Lightroom? It's really easy, it's really simple. The app is free, but there are paid features. I'm gonna show you some of the paid features because I don't know the difference anymore. There is a competitive product called Darkroom. I don't use it, it's totally free. Check it out. Almost all the stuff I'm gonna talk about will translate one-to-one -one into how to edit your photos in that app, but I'm gonna show you how I do it because this is zero style, so we're gonna do it in my style. So step one is obviously picking your gear. Go through your collection, and find some stuff that matches. It's Vice Friday, so I got my Kaiser Feist, I got my Beer Bomb, and my Prometheus Lights Beta QR. Grab all that stuff. After that, set up your scene. Make your little bird's nest. Get everything lined up just right. Try and imagine where the camera is going to be in your mind's eye as you're placing your objects. Pull out your camera or your phone camera and just start snapping photos. Make sure you take different angles, do the best that you can in camera in the first step. Click on the focus point that's closest to you and start from there. Move your camera around, up and down, try those low angles, that's my jam right there. Once you get everything aligned right, you're good to go. Pop open your Photos app, start swiping through. Just keep swiping through till one of them jumps out at you, you'll know it when you see it. Once you grab it, go ahead and press the share button and edit it right there in Lightroom. Alright, so you can do all of this on your phone, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to pull out my tablet here. Check out my sweet slap collection I got going on here. Let's get down to business. So here is my photo that I've got imported, the original. All right, when you first drop into the app, you're greeted with this. These are all of your other photos you can edit, as well as all of these options. Clicking each of these icons here pops out this little side panel that gives you each of the features that you can mess around with. Now the title of this video is not clickbait. If you want to make your photo look amazing in one click, go under here to these little sliders and hit the auto button. Boom! Your photo just looks 10 times better. Nothing else needed. That's it. So the first thing I want to talk about is the crop tool. Click this little icon here. We can choose from a bunch of different aspect ratios. If you want to post to Instagram, do one by one. Just move it up and down. You can pull these little sliders here in the corner to get exactly the crop that you want with your image. When you get it the way that you want it, um, just hit the done button and you're done. Now, some of the features that are in here, there's this auto straighten button. If you click this, it won't work very well with this photo, but it's gonna attempt to automatically find edges that it wants to straighten to make your photo look good. If you don't like anything that you do, just press this little undo or redo button up here. You can bounce right back and forth to where you, where you were in history. So once you got your edits done, hit the done button and we're back to our image with a one by one crop. So if you want to do this my style, we're going to come down here into these panels and choose effects. Under the effects panel, we're going to go to vignette and we're just going to adjust these sliders. Go ahead and pull this just till it looks a little too dark. The next thing I like to do is do the inverse filter a decent amount and then change the roundness. This is actually going to force it into the corners a little bit more, make the stuff in the center look like it's popping, and it looks good. When you get it to there where you think it looks good, I normally back the vignette off just a little bit, and boom, that's a zero style vignette right there. Next thing, we're going to go under light, and these are the settings that the auto button gave us. If you don't like the way something looks, change it. Less is more, in my opinion, with these sliders. So like, play around with them and get it to where the, you think it looks good, but don't try and click every single slider. In particular, in this photo, I think we need to bump the contrast up a little more. And I also don't like the shadows the way that they did it. So I'm gonna drop these shadows down to probably here. That looks good. In general, under color, I like to bring the vibrance up to about 15 right off the bat. Next up, we're gonna try selective edits. And that is basically the Photoshop equivalent of masking here in Lightroom. So click this little guy that's got this dotted lined circle on it, and then the little plus sign. This will give you all the different tools that you can use. Select subject is pretty cool. It works by using AI to try and detect what the dominant stuff is. If you don't like what it did, you can just hit this undo button and boom, you're gone. Press the plus sign again, but we're actually gonna do this with a brush. We're gonna draw this ourselves. So over here, we have got our brush size adjustments. 
get it to where you think looks good. This one here is the feathering on those edges, as well as the overall opacity of the brush. So pick whatever you think looks right for what you're gonna do, and just start going at it. I'm gonna show you two different masking techniques here. This one is called carving. This is more of like the graffiti art style of doing something. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do our best to try and get everything lined up. And we're gonna worry about the edges later. Just go ahead and draw on all of the stuff that you want to have whatever effect we're going to put on it. And I think that looks pretty good. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna zoom in we're going to do some of these details. Here, grab a little more of this my Micarta texture. And now we're going to switch to the eraser tool. So I went a little over the edge here, so we're just going to take this eraser, just carve away at that edge. I also don't want the knife blade, so we're just going to come in here and carve our little edge. Now, I like to do it in little spots, right? So if I come in here and I carve some of this edge and it's too much, I can hit undo. Come back in here, carve some of this edge. Now, if this looks good, if I kept going and then I made a mistake, if I hit undo, I lost that work. So when you're carving, do a little bit at a time and let go. Do a little bit of time and let go. That way you save that undo history in case you make a mistake like that, and then you can just hit undo. And you didn't lose all that work that you just did. All right, I'm just using two fingers here. Whoops, see I drew an extra line, hit undo. Two fingers, pinch zooms this. Back to our eraser tool. So carve this out on this edge. I forgot to do this bead, so back to the pen. I'm gonna zoom out so we'll get more coverage quicker. Bada boom. Over here on this edge, gotta do a little more of this bead that I didn't get. When you're done, grab your eraser and go right along the edges of your lines. Make sure everything's nice and straight on something, you know, square like a bead like this. Double tap with one finger, zooms you back out to full zoom. I think that looks pretty good. So now we can selectively use all of these sliders on just this. So for instance, I think the micarta is a little too yellow. So let's bring the saturation down on this to maybe about here. See if we pop the saturation way up and see what I'm talking about. So let's drop it down to about here. I think that looks good. Next up, we're going to go into effects and we're gonna crank that texture up. Now, I think 100% texture is always too much. I like to make between 85 and 90. And uh, looking at this, I think I went a little too much on the saturation. Let's bring that back to about here. I think that looks more natural. You can see that the flashlight's looking washed out, but we'll fix that in a second. I'm also going to come into effects once again, and then we're gonna go to clarity and bring that up a little bit. I think that that looks much nicer. So now, let's fix the flashlight. Plus, press the plus sign again, go to brush. I'm gonna brush this flashlight. I'm gonna make this a little bigger. And we're gonna do right along this edge here. Just going to be as thorough as we can going through here, making sure we catch all these little edges but don't go over them. Instead of carving, we're going to focus on just getting our line drawn as good as possible at the beginning and then erasing what little bits we have to after. Now since we're going to mess with color here, it's super important this time to make sure that everything is covered the way you want it to be because it will stand out like a sore thumb if parts of your image are not colored the same way. All right, so I think that looks pretty good. We're gonna go back into color and we're gonna crank the saturation back up again so it looks normal. I'm actually gonna turn the temperature up. If you crank it up, it's gonna go like golden, but if you give it just a little bit, I think that that looks like copper, you know? We're back to where we are. It's really popping with that color. Now, I think I messed up a little bit. You see this line on the micarta there? Make sure you're on your eraser. Just come in here, slightly carve that edge out, like so. And you absolutely don't need a pencil. You can do this on your phone and it works. And I do, I edit on my phone most of the time. I'm only doing this on this tablet to show you in this video. So I think that's looking pretty good. Next thing I wanna edit is the patch. I don't like to have a bunch of texture in my patches. So once again, we're just gonna come over here with our brush. And we're gonna brush this in. 
We're gonna try and get this as close in one shot as possible. Pick my mouse up. Now, we're going to come into effects once again. We're going to take the texture and we're going to drop it to almost gone. We're going to bring the clarity way up. We're going to dehaze just a little bit. And we're going to go to detail. We're going to turn the noise down. We're going to turn the sharpness down just a little bit. Under light, we're going to bring up the contrast. We're going to bring the shadows down. We're going to bring the blacks down. We're going to bring the whites up ever so slightly. I think that's looking pretty good. Yep. So, hit done, and all of our masking edits are going to apply. So now if we come into color here, this is going to globally affect everything that we are doing. So undo that. Now there are some spots in here that I wasn't able to get rid of. So let's use the healing brush now, this little band-aid, and we're going to get rid of these spots. So there's a couple different ways that you can heal. You can use the clone, you can use the remove or the heal. So we're going to start with the remove tool, pick your brush size once again, and we're going to just touch that white dot right there. Nice. One shot. Did it. Alright, so let's grab this little white guy here, this one here, and all you're going to do is just keep clicking all these little spots and it's just gonna pick some random stuff from the nearby backgrounds foregrounds that make it look better Got some hair looking stuff in here get rid of all that and we are so zoomed in right now like I am pixel peeping to the extreme on this but this is how I edit my photos. You ever wonder why my patches look so crispy good all the time? I'm showing you right now. The secret is out. Zero edits is photos. Oh my goodness. Like you didn't know that already. Part of the reason I'm on Instagram in the first place is because I was interested in photography and photo editing. So, of course I edit my photos. I know a lot of my friends are in that hashtag no filter camp. I'm not one. That's going to look pretty good. Hit the old done button, and boom, there's our photo. Can't think of much else really that I think that we need to do. I think this is looking pretty good. So when you're done with everything, you can just do a single click, and we'll zoom the whole thing in so you can take a look. Hold your finger down on it, and it will show you the original photo. Let go, and you see your edits. Before, after. Now that's more than one click, but man, Lightroom is the secret sauce when it comes to editing your photos. When you're done, this little button up here, press that, and choose the Export As button. This lets you pick all of the settings for how you want to export it. You can choose custom with a specific size and pixels, or just choose largest available dimensions, 100% image quality, and then if you upload this to Facebook or Instagram or wherever, they're already going to put their own stuff on it to make it smaller, so give them the biggest quality you possibly can to get the best image possible. When you click that check mark, it'll open up the file dialog for you to save it or directly share it in an app, and you, my friend, have now got your a totally rad hooked up EDC photo. Well, that is the video for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a like. It's the free social currency here on YouTube. I'm trying to get the algorithm loving me again, so comment down below anything you want. Just appreciate the engagement. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you so much. Have yourself a wonderful day. And if no one has told you today, you're a rad person who deserves love and praise, just like everybody else in this world. Go to sleep like I need to do right now. And have yourself a wonderful day. Later on.